okay guys you welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful madrim based marble cake and if this sounds like what you're interested in you definitely want to keep on watching but before we get right into the video if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so now just click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified each time i upload the video and please leave a comment that way i get to know what you think about the video So these are the ingredients we'll be using for this cake. We'll be using 250 grams of margarine, but you're free to use butter um, for this recipe. 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. 2 cups of all-purpose flour. It's already sifted. 4 medium-sized eggs. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 1 cup granulated sugar. 1 over 4 teaspoon vanilla flavor. I'm using that little because this particular vanilla flavor is thick and concentrated. So if you're using ordinary vanilla flavor, you can use 1 teaspoon. And finally, 1 over 3 cup full cream milk. To begin, I have already added my margarine into a bowl and I added my 1 cup of sugar. And I'll be creaming this together um, with my hand mixer for five to seven minutes and don't forget to scrape down the sides of your bowl as you cream so this is after five minutes as you can see my butter is already light um, fluffy and have doubled in size I'll go ahead to give this one more mix and it's okay. The next thing we'll do is to add our eggs. I'll be breaking in the eggs one at a time. But if you're not sure of the freshness of your eggs, please don't do this. Break it separately in a bowl before adding it into your batter. So as you can see, I am breaking in the egg one at a time, making sure it incorporates well with the batter before adding another one. I want to say a very big thank you to my subscribers you guys are amazing and if you're yet to subscribe please do that now don't just watch and go away click on that subscribe button enable the notification button to be notified each time I upload the video give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment that way I get to know what you think about the video and if you have any question please write it in the comment section and now all our eggs has been added and incorporated fully into the batter. Next, I'll be adding 1 over 4 teaspoon of vanilla flavor. As you can see, this is um, really thick and concentrated. So let's give that a quick mix. I'll be adding 1 teaspoon of baking powder into my flour. I'll mix this together with my spatula. The last thing that will go in is our flour and our milk. I'll go ahead to add them interchangeably. So I'll first of all add um, my flour. I will eyeball and divide them into three parts. I'll add the first part first and cream it together before adding half of my milk. Always remember to scrape down the sides of your bowl to incorporate them thoroughly. I'll be adding half of my milk and I'll cream together. After that, I'll be adding in um, the second part of the flour. But please make sure you don't over cream your batter. As you can see, I'm just giving this a quick um, mix. The remaining part of the milk will go in. So please follow this method of alternating your flour and your milk because the way you mix your, um, the way you cream your batter determines the the outcome and the texture of your cake when done so the next thing i'll be adding is to add the the last part of the flour and give that a quick mix and please don't over mix it once your flour incorporates fully with your batter um, it's okay 
and now our butter is ready i'll go ahead to um, scrape down the size of the bowl with my spatula so this is the consistency of our butter it's not too thick and it's not too runny so this is just right I'll be dividing the butter into two in two separate bowls and I'll be adding um, two tablespoons of cocoa powder into one bowl. The cocoa powder was already sifted so I'll be using my spatula to give this a thorough mix to dissolve any lumps in it. I'll be using this 7 inches pan to bake. It has already been lightly coated with um, margarine and I placed a baking paper into it. Here I am using my measuring cup to scoop in the chocolate butter into um, the pan and I'll be using my spatula to flatten, flatten it a little bit. So I'll be doing the same with my um, vanilla butter. I'll be scooping it on top of the chocolate butter and I will be flattening it a little bit. So basically this is what I'll be doing till all my butter are finished. I want to mention here that I added um, two tablespoons of flour into our vanilla butter. Um, I'm sorry I lost the clip and I added it so that it will have the same consistency with the chocolate butter because the chocolate butter was thicker because of the two tablespoons of cocoa powder added to it I noticed that if I don't add it during baking the vanilla butter which is lighter in consistency will flow into the um, chocolate butter and this will ruin your design after baking so this is an example of what i was trying to explain as you can see from the screen the design didn't really show very well because the vanilla butter which has um, a lighter consistency tends to flow over the chocolate um, butter but you can um, choose to skip the process if you like so this is a repeated process of adding your chocolate butter flatten it a bit then you add your vanilla butter and you flatten it a bit And I am done scooping the butter. I will tap the pan on the table to flatten the surface a bit. Using my skewer, I'll be um, making some designs on the surface of the butter. And after making the design, I will tap the pan one more time on the table to allow all the air bubbles trapped in the butter to escape. And the butter is ready for baking. After one hour, our cake is well baked and I am doing a toothpick test. Once your toothpick comes out clean, your cake is well baked. I'll run my knife round the cake to enable it to come out clean. And our cake is ready. Check out those designs on the top. It looks good, right? So I'll be cutting it open for you guys to see um, see how the texture looks like. This cake is actually steam baked and I think I have to make a video later of how to steam bake cakes. 
Wow, this really looks so amazing. The texture is fluffy and moist and the taste is out of this world. I mean, the combination of the chocolate and the vanilla flavor is something else. Guys, you really need to try this out. I bet you this recipe is so good. And we have come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and let me know what you think about the video in the comment section. Bye.